And Sri Lanka's Prime Minister Ranil Vikramasinghe in a special address to the nation on Sunday said the 21st Amendment to the Constitution that is expected to annul the 20th Amendment which gave unlimited powers to the President will be passed soon and the Parliament will be strengthened. Sri Lankan Prime Minister Ranil Vikramasinghe said on Sunday his government was working to make the President and the Cabinet accountable to Parliament. after weeks of street protests triggered by the country's worst economic crisis in decades vikramasinghe said his government has proposed enacting laws to give parliament more power adding that over a dozen independent committees would be set up for parliamentary oversight and supervision of financial matters the prime minister batted for the 21st amendment to the constitution saying it will curb the president's unlimited powers The proposal could take several weeks to be approved as it needs to be accepted by the cabinet and the supreme court after which the parliament's approval will be sought. Opposition leaders had accused the Rajpaksa government of disproportionately increasing presidential powers and diluting the role of the parliament in law making. Meanwhile as protests demanding Rajpaksa's resignation continue, medical students from universities across the country clashed with police on Saturday. as they tried to break down barriers near the official residence of president police responded by firing water cannon and tear gas on sunday hundreds of people held a bicycle parade in the capital colombo riding to the permanent protest site opposite president's office demanding that godabaya resign and parliament pass laws to remove the executive presidency sri lanka is reeling under its worst economic crisis since independence in 1948 with a severe shortage of foreign exchange severely curtailing imports including essentials such as fuel and medicines